Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Anwar. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we got a review of the Bravest Studio shorts. These are super hot. They're flying off the website. So of course we're going to teach you guys how to cop them. We're going to talk about quality. We're going to talk about sizing. And you know we got to just talk about overall, get into value, should you cop them. But before we get into all that, make sure you guys subscribe for weekly content all about men's fashion. Go ahead and smash that like button if you enjoyed today's video. And man, let's jump right in. Shout out to my favorite up and coming brand coming out of New York City. Bravest Studios is killing it right now. It is so hard to get a pair of their shorts, but they are so fire. I'm obsessed with these. If you're clicking onto this video, chances are you already know about Bravest Studios. So main question I feel like everybody's gonna ask is how to cop. So we're just gonna jump right into that. If you wanna cop these shorts, they do drops every single Thursday. Um, and so what you can do in my recommendation, sign up for the email list and sign up for the SMS text. What they always do is every third or every Wednesday, they'll email you, they'll text you and say, yo, we're doing a private link drop for like the first like three hours on Thursday. And anybody who's on the email list, anybody who's on the text list, you will get the link privately sent to you first. The site won't be open to the regular public, but since you're a subscriber to our email marketing and our text messages, you're gonna get the link first, a couple hours before everybody else does. Ever since that I've been a subscriber to that, I've never missed a drop. I've copped everything I wanted. I got the Dior shorts, the Chanel shorts, the LV shorts, like every pair that I wanted, every color that I wanted, I was able to grab them. And so before that, you'd have to wait like three hours. You wouldn't know that there was a private link. So you wouldn't even get the access and now you're fighting against everybody else. And it's almost like getting them Eric Emanuel shorts when it comes to these Bravest Studio shorts. So if you're figuring out how to cop, that's my recommendation. The other parts of that that I wanna say is be mindful of the pre-order. If you don't mind the pre-order, I've never tried out their pre-order, so if they say like three to four weeks, I don't know if it's actually three to four weeks, but they label it very clearly, this is a pre-order or this is in hand and will ship in like three to five days. So I've always bought in hand. What you'll also recognize is they'll do a short on a Thursday and it'll say pre-order. After those three to four, four weeks of pre-ordering, they'll bring the short back as a restock and then it'll be like, you know, actual live stock you can go in get the shorts in three to five days. So two things to keep in mind, sign up for that email list so you get the early link and be mindful when you're checking out that you're not getting the pre-order if you're not in the waiting for pairs and you wanna do the whole pre-order thing. But if you're trying to figure out how to cop these Bravest Studio shorts, doing those two things, you're gonna cop, there's no question about it. I've copped every single time once I had that information and now I'm sharing it with you guys so y'all gonna be set when it, term, when it comes to copying Bravest Studio shorts. All right, so for anybody who's unfamiliar with Bravest Studios and they clicked on this video, let's break it down a little bit and talk about quality. So for those of you guys who are wondering about Bravest Studios and their quality, it's pretty A1. I think it's a pretty thick, heavyweight mesh. I've done the comparison between the Eric Emanuel and the Bravest Studio shorts and their mesh and the quality. And I actually preferred the Bravest Studio short mesh over the Eric Emanuel, but there's actually been several of my friends who disagree with me. Overall, I'd call it a toss up. I'd say it's pretty thick quality mesh shorts. I've never had any weird issues where like the drawstring is coming out or you know, the pockets are, there's a hole in the pocket or stitching is weird. They've always been really great quality, um, very thick materials. The print is awesome. Things wash well. You're not worrying about shrinkage or anything like that. These are definitely high quality mesh shorts, but at the end of the day, these are mess shorts. They're not like some crazy cool nylon material. They're not some like out of this world suede material. They're also not Michelin Ness 
you know, vintage NBA, you know, Minnesota Timberwolves, Houston Rockets, cool, like colorways. They're not like Don C with metal eyelets, zipper pockets, Velcro pockets, two pockets on the front, two pockets on the back. You know what I'm saying? They're just mesh basketball shorts. So um, they're definitely quality mesh shorts, but there's only so much quality you're gonna get out of mesh basketball shorts. So don't order these expecting like, oh my God, these are the most amazing shorts that I've ever had. If you've experienced Don C, if you experience rude shorts, even if you've experienced like represent 247 pants or Mitchell and Ness, you'll definitely see that there's levels to this whole basketball shorts game. Um, and in that mesh short category, these are really awesome shorts. You'll love the quality if that's what you're looking for. But if you are looking for something very elevated, given the price point, which we'll talk about, um, they're not gonna wow you, but they are really great mesh shorts. So as far as quality, I definitely say to get a thumbs up from me. It's definitely pretty good. So another thing that I would say is pretty good about these Bravest Studio shorts would definitely have to be the sizing. Uh, they're definitely on trend, right? It's the right cut that we wanna see. If you're watching the Hoopers, if you're watching your Jordan Clarksons, you know, if you're watching our, your boy Shy and you see him, they got the leg tat and they got the shorts, they're seven inch length. I talked about it in my Nike woven shorts video. That's another pair of shorts that I definitely think you guys should go take a look at. I'll have that linked above for you guys so you can watch that review as well. But they're seven inch, then on the long end, there's nine inch, and then on the really short end, there's five inch. And so that whole kind of like breakdown, nine inch is definitely at the knee or like slightly above the knee, just slightly. I'd say seven inch is getting to that mid thigh area. And then five inch, five inch is a little, that's, you know, they're for runners. You'll see runners wearing the five inch. They look like booty shorts to me, but we are not gonna have that conversation right now. But as far as these seven inch shorts goes, it's a really cool, trendy length. It might not be for everybody, but it's definitely something that, you know, you see the hoopers, they got the dunks on, they got the little Eric Emanuel shorts at that seven inch length. It's a nice vibe. So when it comes to sizing, that length is consistent across all the sizes. It's gonna be mid dot. So don't think like, oh, I want it to feel a little longer, so I'm gonna go and get the large. You know how I know that? It's because I bought both mediums and larges just for this video so I can let you guys know they were roomier, right? So I had the medium, which was my preference, and I'd say I'm a true medium. It was a little tighter. It was a little closer to the body, but the length was the exact same as the large. The large just was a little roomier and had a little more space. So I have the Chanel shorts in medium. I have the Louis Vuitton shorts in medium and I got the Dior shorts in a royal blue color and a navy oblique color. I'm calling them Dior shorts, but they call them the oblique shorts, by the way. Um, and I got both of those in larges. It's the exact same length and cut. It goes to the mid thigh. You're gonna be showing your legs off. So hopefully y'all hitting quads. Y'all hitting the quads, man, for the summertime. Uh, but as far as that sizing goes, if you're getting a medium, if you're getting a large, it's gonna be the same length, the same cut, but it will be a little roomier. So absolutely, if thick thighs save lives for you, I definitely recommend you go ahead and get that large or size up a little bit, just so you get a little room in the leg area. If you got like an iPhone, you got a 12 Pro Max, you need a little more space for your phone, you don't wanna be all tight up on your thighs, maybe size up. Um, but if you're you know, a card holder, you're just a little key fob kind of dude, and you like that slimmer cut, definitely go true to size, and you'll really like the sizing on these. Um, but yeah, that's my recommendation. I'm a true medium. Uh, I'm about 5'8", because people ask me my height, my weight all the time. 5'8", 185, I got these in a medium, and they fit amazing. So that's my recommendations for sizing for you guys. The last thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is definitely gotta be value. So that's a tough one for me um, because as far as pricing goes, uh, the shorts are retailing about 75-ish bucks. I don't remember the exact price, but what I do know is out the door is $84. So for me, out here based in Chicago, out the door, $84, tax shipping, all that good stuff. So it's like, oh my gosh, I bought four of them. And so it's $85 per short, it's four shorts. Start doing the math there, 160 and 160. Yeah, start adding numbers. And it's just like, 
we spending a couple hundred, five hundred dollars for some shorts. And it's just, that's hard. That's really hard for me. It's very hard for me to do. These shorts absolutely slap though. I get tons of compliments. Um, Eric Emanuel is definitely like, people kind of know, and it's like, okay, cool, you got the EEs on. But if you pull up in these Bravest Studios, like, yo, those shorts kind of hard. Like, I think because the brand's low key, I'm actually gonna give it some more like, you know, it gets a couple more thumbs up for me, just because it's a little low key, so I'm not feeling like I'm dressing like everybody else. And you do still get that like, break neck factor. So if you're looking for like, yo, I'm trying to put these on, have people like watching me, you know what I'm saying? Like the neck break and you walk past on the street, you know, outside opening up, you know, you hopping on a yacht, you going to travel, vacation, pull these out, pop them up on the gram. You're gonna get crazy amounts of DMs. Yo, them shorts are so cold. Where you get those from? Where you get those from? So many people have DM me. I literally need my own link. Bravest Studios, if you're watching this, your boy need his own link because I got hella people buying y'all shorts. People from New York, down south, everybody gets down with these. I posted them on the gram a couple times and I got mad love. So I think you definitely have to add that into the equation when you're talking about value. But at the end of the day, uh, my homie KJ, y'all see him on Fresh Take. I'm gonna have a link that up above. If you haven't seen Fresh Take, you should check out our podcast that we do every Monday, dropping Fresh Take. Get with it, shameless plug. My boy KJ, he like, man, I can't spend eighty five dollars for no shorts. That's just, it's just over with. And so I'd say value. It comes down to a personal decision. If you're the kind of guy that can spend, you know, eighty, a hundred, hundred fifty on a pair of shorts. You won't be disappointed with these. If you're the kind of person that usually don't spend that much on shorts, and it's like, I would say you have to really love these. So they got tons of colorways, they got tons of designs. I'd get one pair, you will like them, you will wanna put them out. Um, but definitely make sure it's like, if it's the oblique for you, I definitely go for those. I think my personal favorite is my like, my green, my mossy green uh, Chanel ones. Those are just like, with the tennis, those are just like on a different level for me. And you know, I wear them with the pine greens right there, you know what I'm saying? So I absolutely love those. And if I had like one pair, I'd be comfortable spending the 80 bucks getting those. And then the rest, like say I get the Nike woven shorts that I talked about, some cheaper alternatives. And I got like my one little like pop out pair of shorts when I go on a boat trip or I'm going on vacation or whatever. So I think that's a way you can justify the price is, is definitely gonna be a short that catches eyes and if that's what you're looking for this summer, it's definitely a short that's uh, original and different and everybody got the EEs on, everybody got the, you know, whatever on. So to be a little different because Brave Studios is still a little low key, I think for those two reasons and the fact that it's a pretty good quality heavyweight mesh, you can justify that price if it's within your budget, but definitely don't overextend yourself for a pair of shorts. There's like so many other versatile pieces that you could wear year round um, that I think would be things to kind of invest in. Um, these are a little bit trendier pieces. So some things to think about overall, they're gonna get my stamp of approval because I got a lot of love wearing these shorts. They definitely break necks. Um, and the mesh is pretty good. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm growing in the shorts category when it, turns, when it comes to just like what I'm willing to spend. And I'm happy with these for sure. Bravest Studios, the shorts are a go. Go ahead, get you a pair if you're feeling them. We're gonna have links down below for you guys. Sign up for the email list. I'm not playing, you will cop. Don't even worry about it. It will not be a hard cop to sign up for the email list. But man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, make sure you guys subscribe and like for more content like this. And don't forget to drink y'all water. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Jay Blake, but you got one. Purchase your tracks today.